What's going on, y'all? Hope you've been living right. Today's video, we are trying out the new 316 Lure Co's Little Booger. And I, I'm actually excited about this. It's got a little popper aspect in it uh, at the front nose of it. I think it's designed to be subsurface to surface fishing. I think you can fish it lower. It just got to wait for it to sink a little bit. But um, that's my plan on it. Subsurface the top water. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see how it's going to work. I'm going to use it on a seven foot two fast mod action rod. 12 pound fluorocarbon from Sunline. Nothing too crazy. Seven to two Shimano reel, all that fun stuff. So I'm just going to shut up and we're going to go ahead and get the fish and hopefully I can get some nice content of blow ups on it and show y'all how it works and see if I can't figure out how to work this bait because there is nothing on YouTube yet of how this bait should be worked or how it can be worked to catch fish. Informational stuff. I'm not that good at it, but we're going to give it a shot. <laughs> all right. Well, all we're going to fish with off. This morning, like I said in the intro, little booger. This one's in bluegill. Let's, let's get it in here and see what it looks like. I mean, it's gonna be hard probably for y'all to see, but I don't know. It's got awesome action. Get it flipped out here. Makes a little pop at the top. Yeah. Let's give this a shot. But I want to fish all this rock. We got some sludge building up on this lake. So I don't know. We may try some new things. Oh man, it casts beautifully on this seven to two. Just give it working. Yeah, subsurface, give it a pop. And it makes a little bloop. Tail is kicking. I might be working it a little too fast. I'll slow it down just a touch. I mean, it does sink, but it has good action. Just got to figure out the right speed, how to work it. I mean, that little nose on it seems to be working pretty well. Reel it, let it do its thing, subsurface, let it wake. Treat it like a wake bait outside of every now and then you give it a little pop and that nose allows it to bloop, bloop. be a little bit more erratic with it, see if you can't get something to happen on it. I mean, with this water turning green the way it is, maybe a little bit more surface noise is key. Let's try a steady retrieve and quick bump. Steady retrieve, quick bump. I think that might work better than jerking the rod tip. Yeah, that actually looks better. Better than the pop. I can control the pop better. Fish, got him. <laughs> Finally on the line through. It only took a couple hours, but I found a fish. Little fish, little guy. There we go. Little guy on that little line through. Hopefully he didn't just break it. I'd hate to break it on the first fish. All right, super stoked about that. Line through, little bass, little guy. Nothing crazy. Throw him back. Little tube came out. Let's shove that back in. Run that back through. We're gonna stick it right there. All the way up. There we go. Re-rigged. Oh, fish. Got him. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's not a bad one either. All right, bass number two, just working it kind of slowly. Not a bad one, not a bad one at all. Hooked it pretty good, about a pound and a half. All right, there we go. Bass number two, not bad. I mean, littler guy, he's been caught a couple times. Look at that, check that out. He's kind of beat up and that's not for me, but We'll go ahead and get them back. We're working that grass edge right there. And there's a ledge here. So I don't know if that's something, but this is the best area I've seen water clarity wise, but we'll throw them back. Peace.
Got him. Oh, I think that was a northern. I don't think it was a bass. Yeah, northern. He laced it open right there. Whew. Got the old blood pumping. Oh, yeah, he got it good. Destroyed that thing. Jeesh. Ah, oh, so freaking northern. Dang it. Dang it. Cut me off. You know, let's try a different color. Dang it. Northern came out for it. All right, I got a new one. I think this one's called bait fish or something like that. I don't remember. There we go. Get that put in there. Probably didn't put it far back enough. Two northerns. Relatively close to each other. Dang it. Oh, lost that bait too. Dang it. Another northern. Just crushing stuff. He wanted it. Damn it. All right, that's it for that bait. I'm done. <laughs> I've lost two of them out here already. Dang it. fish got him i don't know if that's a bass it is it is a freaking bass nice bass too it is a nice bass freaking a i think i got him ah oh, he's hooked on top of the head <laughs> oh, switched over to a wake bait and First things first, freaking two and a half, two and three quarter pound bass. Dang it. I was, I lost another line through to a northern. Throw this wake bait out, catch a damn bass. <sighs> Frustration. All right, the little booger. Castability, freaking amazing. I can send that flying on 12 pound test with ease um, on a medium heavy rod. I can skip it under docks, under overhangs, um, the retrieval of it. There's many different ways. You can work it fast. You can work it slow. I was working it slow and kind of fast, switching up retrieves, trying to figure out what they wanted. But what I had all my bites and strikes and lost lures to northerns on was just a slow roll with a quick twist of the reel just getting it to go bloop, that was it. You can cast it out, you can burn it and work that rod tip, make that thing just pop, 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 trying to get something to reaction bite. Yeah, um, you just gotta, you gotta work this lure in different ways. Find out what the fish want and continue that pattern throughout the day or whatever, all the way to wherever that bite window ends. But yeah, I love this lure. It's a great lure. I can't wait to throw it some more, but um, I've been out here five hours, so I need to trade up some lures, hunt down some fish in some different ways, see if I can't get it. As you can tell, it is like slick, like glass, and it is humid. So I'm pretty sure these fish are pushed down deep. They're probably not wanting to bite because of storm or something. But yeah, I'm going to force them to bite. So y'all take care. And until next time, y'all keep living right. Ooh, got another one. Oh, son of a bitch, he came off. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh my god, another one. God, he ate it. Pause. Holy crap. Dude, this is unreal.